Okay friends, continuing our discussion about the trigonometric ratios of several types of compound angles after which we dealt with the transformation formulas useful to convert product into sum or difference and the sum or difference into the product. And I told you they are one of the most important formulas which you are ever going to find in mathematics. Today what I have for you is something that is going to add on to that important formula list. Yes, today again we are going to deal with some very very useful formulas. But they would be related to something known as multiple angles or sub multiple angles. So, let me first tell you what do I mean by multiple angles and what do I mean by when I say sub multiple angles and what is the use of these in the formulas that we have today and why and how these formulas are important is what we'll be understanding. By multiple angles, what do I mean? Well, if I say A is an angle, then twice of A, thrice of the angle A, or say five times A, all these are multiple angles. Multiple times I'm adding the same angle, resulting in a multiple angle. Of course, Twice of A can be written as A plus A. That means I am adding my angle A twice. Thrice of A can be written as A plus A plus A. That means I am adding the same angle thrice with itself. Five times A. Adding the same angle A with itself five times. What about sub multiple angles? Well, by sub multiple angles I mean... Again, if you pick up A to be angle A, any angle A by 2, A by 3, A by 4 and so on, all these are sub multiple angles. That is what is the meaning of multiple and sub multiple angles. Okay. Now, what is the use of these multiple and sub multiple angles in our lecture of today? Well, we have till now dealt with understanding the trigonometric ratios of compound angles, right? We did that with A plus B, A minus B, right? After that today what we have to do is find out the trigonometric ratios of multiple angles and once we are through with this, the next step would be to find out the trigonometric ratios of the sub-multiple angles. Now, how is that supposed to be done is what is our entire lecture is going to be about. Let me start with the first multiple angle which is twice of A and let's see how does the trigonometric ratio of 2 times A this particular angle behave. So the topic goes as trigonometric ratios of multiple angles. That is twice of A. That would be the very first thing we would be watching. How does the trigonometric ratio of twice of A, this multiple angle behave? And in fact, we are going to see that I can express the trigonometric ratio of the angle 2A in terms of the angle A. Yes, the very angle which is used over here to get the multiple angle 2A. It will be this particular trigonometric ratio of 2A will be expressed in the terms of or in the form of this angle which is used to get 2A. Let's get started with the very first trigonometric ratio that is 
sine of the angle 2a. Now what do you do? Well, I obviously know that sine of 2a is nothing but sine of a plus a. Now something you would be reminding by this, of course you would be able to recall that this expression is just a replica of sine of a plus b with a written in place of b, right? So, why not we use the formula of this sine ratio of the compound angle a plus b by just replacing a in place of b. So, what is the formula of this? This is sine of a cosine of b sine a cos b plus cos a sine b and as I said over here in place of this b if you replace a you get the formula of sine of a plus a. So let's do that and use that formula over here. Sine of a plus a happens to be sine a cos a plus cos a sine a, yes not b, a What is it that you obtain? You obtain sine A cos A plus cos A sine A which is nothing but sine A cos A plus sine A cos A which means you have sine of 2A is twice of sine A into cos A. One of the most useful formulas you are ever going to have is sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. You can keep on reading this formula for 10, 20 times because you need to remember it, learn it, memorize it by heart. You are just not allowed to forget this formula ever in your life. Sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. Let's see if the sine ratio is find out, found out of this particular angle 2a, let's see how does the cosine ratio behave for this multiple angle 2a. We have next that is cosine ratio of the angle 2a. Again, I know that cos 2a can be written as cos of a plus a and this is again the replica of cos of a plus b with a written in place of b, right? So let's just use the formula of this cos of a plus b is what? Cos a cos b minus sin a B. Once this formula is there before you, you know what you need to do. Just replace B by A, you obtain the formula of cos of A plus A, just use that. What will that become? Cos A into cos A minus sin A into sin A. So collectively what does that bring out? This brings to you cos of 2a is cos square a minus sin square a. Yes, again one of the most important formulas after sin 2a is cos 2a. Just like sin 2a is 2 sin a cos a, cos 2a is cos square a minus sin square a. But there are 
few more forms of this formula cos 2a which are even more important, even more useful and even more applicable than this very formula. But you get those two forms of cos 2a from this formula itself. How? Let's see. In the first case, let's just write down the formula of cos 2a that we have obtained till now through our calculations. We have cos 2a is cos square a minus sin square a. Now what you do is you just eradicate either of the trigonometric expressions from here that is either you eradicate cos or you eradicate sin by expressing one in terms of the other. How do you do that? You know that sin square a plus cos square a is 1. So if I say cos square a is 1 minus sin square a and I use that over here, my entire right hand side will turn into just the expression of sin and no cos will be seen. So let's do that. In the very first case, what I am doing is I am expressing cos in terms of sin so that I just get a single trigonometric expression term over here on the right hand side. So you just replace cos square a by 1 minus sin square a minus sin square a already kept intact over here which was there. So you get 1 minus sin square a minus sin square a which makes it 1 minus 2 times sin square a. And so what is it that you obtain? You obtain from here that cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sin square a. Right? This is what you obtain or what you can write. Or you can write this as 1 minus cos 2a is 2 sin square a. Trust me guys, these are very, very, very important formulas of this particular chapter. They are extensively, immensely useful like immensely. If I move on to getting the very next type of an expression for the same cos 2a, let's see what that turns out to be. I already had established cos 2a was cos square a minus sin square a. And now, just like previously, what we did was we expressed this cos in terms of sine so that the entire right hand side looks an expression of a single trigonometric ratio. Over here, we made the right hand side look in terms of only the sine trigonometric ratio. So let's over here convert sine in terms of cos and make our right hand side look only in terms of one trigonometric expression cosine this time. Let's do that. You have cos square a minus, you can write sine square a as 1 minus cos square a. Right? Then you have cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a which makes it 2 cos square a minus 1. And that gives you cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 or I can write this as 1 plus cos 2a is 2 cos square a. Again, one of the most important formulas in trigonometry are these. Let's just quickly revisit what we did till now so that we can again brush through the very, very important formulas. First we did sine 2a which is the sine ratio of the multiple angle 2a that is equal to 2 sine a cos a. After that we did cos 2a 
Now cos 2a has three different expressions. One expression is concerning of both sine and cosine terms and that is cos 2a is cos square a minus sine square a. The other formula of cos 2a concerns of only the sine expression which is cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. And the third very formula for the same ratio, cosine ratio of the angle 2a concerns with only the cosine ratio that is cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1. And also this gave rise to two very very important formulas which are 1 plus 1 minus cos 2a is 2 sine square a and 1 plus cos 2a is 2 cos square a. You can make as many stars as you want in front of them to make you feel how important they are and how many times you need to visit them to actually learn them. Do that and I'll be right back with one more very important formula. After learning about the sine ratio of the multiple angle 2a and learning about the cosine ratio of the multiple angle 2a, let's move on to learning the tangent ratio of the same multiple angle 2a. Now what does tan of 2a turn out to be? Again this will be resembling you of tan of a plus b. What was the formula of tan of a plus b? Remember we did the tangent ratio of the compound angle a plus b which came out to be tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b. That's what we did. And because I can write my tan 2a as tan of a plus a, obviously if I replace b by a, I am going to get on the right hand side the formula of tan of a plus a. Let's do that and get what this expression turns out to be. So tan of a plus a will be tan a plus tan a whole upon 1 minus tan a into again tan a. And this gives you what? This gives you tan 2a is equal to tan a plus tan a that is 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan square a. Believe me or not, this is again one of the most important formulas that you'll ever ever have. Yes, sine 2a, cos 2a, tan 2a. All these three are very very important formulas because of their applications and usefulness. Now you all know that one thing that we did with cos 2a was we had cos 2a in terms of cos and sin which we molded into only sin or only cos, right? The question is, can I express the formula of sin 2a and the formula of cos 2a in terms of tan or not? That is what the question is. That means, once we have dealt with tan 2a, the question is, can we express the formula of sin 2a and cos 2a in terms of tan this time? Because this kind of an expression is again going to be superbly useful. So let's try and do that, that can we express sin 2a and cos 2a in terms of tan or not. We all know what is sin 2a. Sin 2a we found out was 2 sin a 